Brackies, I accept your challenge. You challenged us to make a game in 10 minutes. I said challenge accepted. Check out the original video uh, somewhere here. I'm gonna link it. And now we're gonna make a game in 10 minutes in Unity. Let's go. Full disclaimer, I made two test runs of this. First test run took me one hour. <laughs> so it's gonna be a really tight one. <laughs> I'm so nervous. <laughs> Starting the timer in three, two, one, go. All right, Jonas of the past is busy now. Editing Jonas is doing the commentary. Uh, lighting to zero, zero. Oh, shut up, Jonas. You're not talking anything interesting. So my strategy was pretty much setting up everything in the scene first and then doing the coding. So that's what you see right here, setting up my scene. That was a slow start. Come on, Visual Studio. Start faster. Yeah, some really dumb stuff like Visual Studio starting up, costing me a lot of time here. Already two minutes in and I pretty much got nothing so far. I'm starting with the player script here because that's probably the most important part. Okay, here we go. That's the player. No, not quite. Really just trying to write the entire script in one go because there will be no time to come back to this later on. Okay, here we go. That's the player done. I hope it works. <laughs> What makes this even more stressful is that you don't have the time to test anything out. So will it work or did I already screw up? Now we just need to write the spawner and then the game's basically already done. <laughs> just writing the spawner, good joke. Because the spawner script is definitely more complicated than the player script. It will take more time. And I even forgot to change some things in the scene, so I gotta do that real quick, costing me even more time. Now let's write the spawner. Uh, four minutes remaining. Ooh, jeez. See, just a second ago I was pretty confident that I would still be able to do it. Now I was definitely starting to feel the pressure. So I went full try hard mode and coded as fast as I could. Uh, which is not exactly super fast, I guess. Mm. Yeah. Come on, make another line. You can do it. Yes. Oh. Oh my god, three minutes. <laughs> the spawner is supposed to spawn a bunch of cubes and then the goal of the player is just not to touch any of them. The tricky part about this is getting all of the parameters right without any testing, so the spawn rate, the difficulty curve. Two minutes. And without the test runs, this part would have been pretty much impossible. As I've said earlier, I had a relatively slow start. Jesus Christ. So I had to cut some corners with the uh, spawn algorithm. In my test runs all of the spawned cubes had different sizes which looked really cool. I kind of forgot that but there wouldn't have been any time for that anyway. So here you can see me once again fixing up stuff in the scene that really shouldn't have happened. As I've said my strategy was setting up the scene first and then just doing the coding. Needless to say that didn't really work out. I forgot so many little things all the time. 50 seconds remaining. Let's give it a test run. Oh, why am I not seeing anything? This is not good. This is just a general rule in game development. Whenever you code something without testing, it never works. Will I be able to find the bug within the next 30 seconds though? Here I'm checking the light, maybe all of the cubes just were invisible because there was no light. That was not it, I already checked the light settings like three times in this video. Right, the spawner needs the cube. Oh my god, 17 seconds remaining, please, this needs to work now. <laughs> Jesus. No, why is there nothing on the screen? <laughs> Five seconds. No! What is wrong? Oh my god, my heart, this was stressful. Uh, okay. There is one block. Ah, what the hell is this? Why is there an equal sign here? No way, that cost me the time. Come on, now it works. Are you kidding me? This didn't sit right with me. This horrible defeat. Okay. Try hard mode. Activate it. Three, two, one, go. You know the drill, let's just speed this up about 20 times because we do not have the time to watch all of that again. 
this time I had a way better start. Once again it took me about two minutes to get started with the coding. But I didn't forget as many settings in the scene, so that will save me some time later on. Here's the player script, it's done. Immediately getting started with the spawn script and last time I got started with it I had four minutes, now I had five minutes remaining. So that meant enough time to code my really cool spawn pattern. It still got super close in the end, just have a look. Ah, uh, no. No, 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 no. Here I just figured that I hadn't created the cube prefab yet. So I just created a cube and dragged it into the spawner script really quick. Go! 50 seconds! Jesus, please! Please just work! Oh, this is already a lot better, but I can... I can barely see anything. Oh, the light needs to be the same position as the camera. But of course, there was still something wrong. Oh my god, I'm way too fast! Why is the player so fast? No, 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 no! Oh no, time, don't tell that time is missing. Okay, I would say this counts if it works now. <laughs> this counts. Oh, Jesus, my heart. This is so difficult. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't knew this would be so stressful. <sighs> Please work now. Please. Ah, oh, this looks good. In my opinion, there are two little details that make this game feel pretty great. First of them is the slight camera rotation. You see that the entire camera is rotating around its own axis. And the second point is that all of these blocks are more or less aligned with the camera's movement direction. So that makes for a lot of cool and dynamic lines. The longer you play, the more blocks there are and you get faster and faster over time as well. So even though there's no high score yet, it's already pretty addicting. On this YouTube channel, I document my journey to becoming a game developer. I share absolutely everything I learn on the way so you can become a better game developer as well. Hope you enjoyed watching this and hope to see you around. Peace out.